Next question. Uh, Dr. Tour, it seems like most of your critiques rest on so far unjustified assumptions, so I would like to give you the opportunity here to justify at least one of those assumptions. The very first one, your very first question to Dave, it seems like you admit that you can form peptide bonds for some of the amino acids in aqueous solutions without, un without protecting groups. You point out specifically lysine and arginine, and I would like to ask, why are you assuming that lysine and arginine and all 20 amino acids were there from the very first, the origin of life? Uh, yeah, could you just justify that assumption for us? Why couldn't you have life from, like, just some of the amino acids that later it's been on... it 30 seconds. All 20? Okay, so, so, my contest on the amino acid claims was he kept saying amino acids are simple to make in water. That's what he said in his series. But then, when challenged on that, he came out later and he said, when activated. When you activate them, they go from being zwitterionic to being non zwitterionic This is what I was getting at. So somebody coached him on this. Tour must be right in when, on the activation. Now, to your next question. Could there have been life with half of the amino acids? We have no idea. Even, with half, even if I gave you half of the amino acids, now what? Now what? Be let me tell you. Because if you have 100 amino acids, the chances of getting anything with prescribed information is, is say you have half the amino is 10 to the 100th. <clears throat> y yes, it is. Now, let me, now, the chances of that folding, a 100 mer, the chances of it folding are what? 10 to the 90. All right, all right. Okay. So, so Leventhal, pa time, Leventhal time Paradox. What so one, one form, one form. One form. But Levin, Leventhal <laughs> Paradox. No way, no James, way. Gish the vast Gallagher majority do not fold. Time is up they for don't that fold. question. Next question on this side. 